Hey guys, um, I want to do a video, a quick video on uh, how to how to overclock a Q sixty six hundred, a uh, Q Intel Q, Intel Core two quad two point four gigahertz, aka the Q sixty six hundred. Okay, the board that I'm using is a um, is a uh, uh, Asus P five K Deluxe Limited Edition. What makes it a limited edition is that it has the, uh, it's gold-plated. Some of the, uh, contacts on it are gold-plated. Um, and, uh, and it also has the, um, and, yeah, and also it came in, and, all, and I believe on the back of it is actually signed by the, uh, by the, the, the board designer, I can't really remember. I just remember, I just remember going to an Asus convention and, and getting it. So, yeah. But here's what you're going to need to do. Currently, this is my system right here. I have it, I have it overclocked uh, 3.2, um, 4. My bio says 6, uh, 3.26. That's incorrect. I have 8 gigs of RAM. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to um, the Advanced tab. And we're going down to uh, CPU Configuration. And disable everything. Then go down to uh, jump. Uh, oh, what is it? Jumper free config configuration. Now I want you to go to the AI um, overclock tuner. Put that on manual. Just copy my entire thing and um, put your multiplier at eight. And then put your FSB as f at 405. Make sure your RAM is somewhere in that ballpark. Do not go if you have um, DDR2 800. Sorry about squeaky chair. Do not go if you have a DDR8 DDR2 800. The 800XX 8XX megahertz will probably be perfect for you because if you go to the 900s, you have a chance of being unstable and Applications crashing, operating system crashing, and so on. Just terrible things that you don't want. Um, and then you want to push uh, command D, DRAM command rate. Put that in N2 or uh, T2. I, I know. Sorry again about the chair. I just know that different boards and different RAM and all that have different things. So then go to uh, DRAM timing controls. These are mine, but always check your... Um, your RAM to see what their timing controls are or their timing clocks are. So I usually I usually uh, change mine, but I, these are my stock. These are stock. So I did it, normally this is 15, 15, but I put to 18 because I get a little bit more uh, performance and stability. Now let's go down here. Hit turn off DRAM static control. And then um, for my board, my board is glitched. Look, just like I so told you about the clock speed, the uh, 400, 405 times eight, because eight is the multiplier. It, m multiplier. If any, how to the way you can get your uh, clock speed is you go to a calc you go to, go to your calculator and type put your multiplier multiplier in first, and then put a number in. I recommend starting at four hundred, and then four hundred and one, four hundred two, or whatever, and then you'll. And whatever you and uh, push the equals button, and whatever you get will be your clock speed. But for my board, it's kind of goofed up. So, so yeah. But like, if I put um 1.420, Sorry, I'm tired a little bit. One point four uh one point one point four two hundred and fifty. Or uh, 2,000, uh, 2,250 volts. That is usually around the rough of a uh, 1.4. So I'm gonna go one down, because yeah. And then you want you to go down to the FSB um, voltage right here and put it at at 1.3. And if you want, you can go to 1.4. Uh, uh, my I'm gonna go to 1.2. And then I would recommend putting that on auto just for to be safe. I'm going to down. I'm going to put that up to a one point one, two point one. Your North Bridge. I recommend uh, 
1.4. And then for your at south ridge, I recommend uh, if you're going to go with a high overclock, I'd recommend uh, 1.2 or auto. But if you're going for a overclock that I'm using, I go with one 1.05. So and then just leave all that all that there. Um, Chipset, you want to make sure you don't want to mess with any of this stuff because if you mess with any of that stuff, you might mess something up. So yeah, and then just push uh, enter on that. Firm, and then if it beeps, we have a stable, fully overclocked system. There we go. And if it's fully working, I'll get to you back to you whenever the operating system is installed. And I'll show you. There we go. Yes, this is my Mac Pro. Ha ha ha. It's a Hackintosh. But yeah, just go here and uh, yeah. I have the uh, I have a um, CPU ID HW monitor hardware monitor and it's basically just like temperature voltage clock speed whatever I recommend getting these two applications a uh, set CPU or no set CPU CPU Z or if you're a crazy Canadian not I love Canadians uh, CPU Z I'm just being funny it's CPU Z not Z. Um, or, and also hardware manage monitor and then what I want you to do is I want you to look at your temperatures monitor your temperatures or voltages and then you can see right here the voltages the clock speeds and whatnot make sure they are running really good and they are what you put them on put them at so yeah and if it does run stable you have a good overclock the reason I say if it runs stable is Sometimes an overclock could be stable for one person and then it be completely unstable for the other. Just like with anything, it all depends on your hardware. Sometimes hard, each hardware is made differently. Something could be, uh, something could have one extra one and one extra zero, and one other thing could have one less one or one less zero. It's just a way to look at it. But yeah, each hardware, each piece of hardware is different. And uh, yeah. But uh, just hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and it helped you, and or uh, put the or push the uh, and push the comment and tell me what you got, and tell me what you uh, managed to get your uh, CPU clock to, and also if you want to you can ask me any questions like what the highest speed I've got this thing up to, yada yada yada. So yeah, thank you. Uh, just hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more random tech videos and yeah, thank you.